welcome to the PIMS algorithm module in MST experiment. In this module, we are going to learn about the PIMS algorithm. First of all, let us recap what exactly an MST is. In this given graph, I have 5 nodes or 5 vertices. That means the MST, which has to be a tree, will have 4 edges. What we mean by an MST here is that it should contain all the vertices that are present in the graph. It should be a tree and it should be such a tree that if I sum up the weights of all the edges in the tree, it should be the minimum possible for this particular graph. So there are many trees possible which will have four edges and all the nodes, but there will be only one which will have the sum of the weights as its minimum for this given graph. Let us see how we approach this in the Prim's algorithm. While we are doing the Prim's algorithm, we try to maintain two things. First of all, we try to maintain which all vertices we have already included in my MST. And the second thing we maintain is what is the list of the potential edges that I can include next in my MST. I know that I have to include four edges and I know that I have to include five vertices. Since I know that I am going to have to include all vertices at some point in the MST, I can start by choosing any one. Suppose in this case, I choose vertex A to start with. So my vertex A has become part of my MST. When I choose vertex A, I need to add edges which have A as one of its endpoints to my list of potential edges to choose in the MST. In this case, I can add edge AB with weight 1 and edge AC with weight 7. If I am going to include A in my MST, I must include one of these two edges so that my MST is connected to the vertex A or my vertex A is present in the MST. So what I do next is after I have chosen a vertex and after I have added all the edges which have A as the end point in my list of potential candidates, I try to choose the minimum out of this list which in this case will be AB because its weight is 1 which is the minimum. So basically I end up choosing this edge as part of my MST. Now what happens as soon as I choose this edge is that vertex B becomes part of my MST. So now I have chosen B to be part of my MST. Now as soon as I choose B, I need to add all the edges which have B as one of its endpoints to my list of potential candidates. Hence I add BE with weight 4, I add BD with weight 3 and I add BC with weight 5. Now again I go back to my list of potential edges and I choose the one with the minimum weight which in this case will be BD with weight 3. So I choose this edge. In this graph I can represent this with a red line that I have chosen this edge and what happens as soon as I choose this edge is that I have included vertex D in my MST. Again as soon as I choose vertex D I should include edges which have D as one of its endpoints in my potential list. So I add DE with weight 5 and I add DC with weight 6. Now again I go back to my list and look and I look for the edge with the minimum weight. Now please note that in this case the edge with the minimum weight is BE with weight 4. Till now what was happening was whenever we add a new vertex the next edge that we were adding was an edge that had that vertex as a part of one of its endpoints. But this does not always have to be the case. The last edge that uh, the last vertex that we chose was D and the next edge that we will be choosing is BE. Our aim here to, is to include more and more vertices into my MST. By choosing BE what I am doing is I am adding the vertex E to my MST so my aim is getting fulfilled. As soon as I add this edge to my MST, I am including the vertex E. So I should write down E here and I should list down all the potential candidates. But the only edge that is left for E is ED which has already been listed down here. 
So I go back to my list again and I look for um, the smallest possible candidates here. Now I see that there is ED with weight 5, but I don't need to really include ED because ED connects D and E, both of which have already been included in my MST. So there is no point including this edge into my MST. It is unnecessary. So next I look at BC, which is also of weight 5. If I include BC in my MST, I will be adding a new vertex, which will be C. So this is beneficial for me. So I will choose edge BC to be part of my MST. And I will add C to my list of vertices included in the MST. When I do this, I know that I have chosen four edges that I needed to choose. And I have also completed traversing all the vertices in the given graph and have included them as part of my MST, all five, A, B, C, D, and E.